Hi everybody, um, Jeremy, Frederick, maybe Humphreys Gilchrist, and what stands out, like remember I said the brain soul, how we all have the ability within a habit factory if we choose to go in there um, for rest of life, and a good decision would be, well if we were young is an easy way to think about it, if we were young and it's like hey, if you could uh, choose a world where all colors are equal and, and beautiful, each one of them, and voices and everything. And everything you get to choose is healthy and uh, music. And when you listen to it, you'll, your brain will hear amazingness from every song and everybody matters and everybody has their own little talent and we, we love them all and everybody's story matters and I could keep going on and on and on but the point is every single one of us at a young age would go all right yeah because our children are a great example and their their friend across the street uh well across the street from my parents house and the list keeps going on and on and their cousins three thousand miles away and the list just keeps going. But my point is, the answer would be, well, yeah, cool. Well, I share this because I always tell the truth, remember, and uh, the number seven keeps coming at me over and over. And, and then 17, 27, 37, 47, 57. Um, and then 34 also and 31. And at 1147, I looked up as I was thinking about the email I just shared with someone about things that needed done but more importantly um when I looked up I smiled and I was like oh it's a I had sent it I realized it 27 minutes after and then I carried on thinking about what I just shared with this person and um after I just did notes and everything and believe in the world and everything um I look up and it's 1147 and this is the truth and I know it would be easy and I understand if you go Jeremy it's just good coincidence and I have hundreds and thousands of sharings of all of this but it's in here for like fame or anything it's for for me to show that I love everyone in the world and I will share everything I've got and from doctors to surgeons to actors to everything I know and I know we, we will all come together because we don't really change our talents at all. We don't change the desires we all have, getting rid of anxiety, depression, all these things, you know? Yeah, it's, it's not that hard. It's not. And I'm on here to share this with you because it's real. With the email I just sent and such, it made me grab a couple things again, right? And um, one of them was uh, how, you know, I take people's names and what pops up from them and yes this morning and yesterday and the day before I think I don't remember but as a child we go well that doesn't matter what well it's when I saw the the amazing police officer uh female that that what I took from her name is and she would say he did quickly was lab and how I look at, look at her that way at a, sure equal levels, but I look at her as a special because she reminds me of a lab we all could jump into, right? And have confidence in it and belief in it. And um, with that being said, uh, I was reading one of the books I shared, which is this mind of God from uh, John F. Kennedy's many years later nephew, Dr. J. Lombard, and with his name, the A stands out on J, and then L-O-M-B-A-R-D. So a Lord to me, especially because of everything he's gone through in life and how he's devoted with his talents and what he's supposed to do and his beginning story of brains and how to look at them differently and understand our brains and our souls and stuff such his first person that really um brought his brain and soul to use was sarah s-a-r-a-h and that's my children's mother and my wife and i tell you this because i'm not looking for fame i'm telling you how 
a belief in everything is right in front of us by, by sharing stories and then how we move forward with a young mindset, right? Well, that's her. And what's funny is in his stories talking about she was brought to him at the da-da-da lab. Yeah, this is real. So as time moves forward, we'll begin to realize, and I want you all, I do, but to how all of us equally, because I love the world equally, um, every person equally is what I'm saying, but uh, how we all have the ability and the, the rights to choose amazing addictions that never go away. And one of mine is living in this, one of the newest of the 38 we have now as a group, um, which is, okay, uh, truth equals change. And that's 17 letters. And then, oh, and by the way, another one is the young mindset of, okay, I'll try a new book. Okay, okay. I'll try a new book. Um, you know, a couple pages a day. Well, good. And, you know, I did this today on an earlier video and on all child's names and, and, and here on earth presence. I promise on all of their um, brains and souls and bodies that I didn't have this prepared earlier today when I said, you know, have that young mindset of, oh, I could read two pages a day, good. Well, the first one is always on the left in the morning and the, the other one at night right there on the right side. And it's easy and I was gonna, I read the first line of today live and for the first time and it says, trust me in all, in all your thoughts. And I think you can understand that, sure, I could say, you know, so trust me with everything I've been in through with in life, et cetera, et cetera. But Sarah Young, S-A-R-A-H, Amazing Addictions, and, and her last name Young tells us, oh my gosh, this is real. Yeah, all of this isn't a look at me or look at my wife Sarah or, or, or Dr. Jay Lombard or Sarah Young and the list keeps going on and on and on. And Kobe Bryant here on earth if you would say to us, no, it's about brain and soul. So this line of, I could cry, trust me in all your thoughts, I think you can understand that it, it's everywhere around us it's right in here and here this is real obviously you can tell and also so lab there it is okay oh my gosh this is cool sorry i'm looking at this amazing addictions plus this was the notes i was creating before 11 40 7 p.m but so when i got done with all this is when i then jumped on the computers like what could i watch Should i watch anything so i don't really watch anything but I remember Steve Jobs, and what stands out from Stephen Jobs, sorry, is C, Jobs. Well, what would our job be if we're young? To flip our minds, feel young and naturally in a beautiful way, not worry about money and all these different things and go fix this world. How, how, how to speak to everyone is easy. I, I, because of a beautiful man here at the hotel, I'm Ran, and I have special things I want to share about his name and what my brain and soul took by his name and his amazingness, and he's from India, and he had said they would want me to come there, and I said, well, I'll be there and just tell them, India, all of you, I love you all equally, and to let you know how much, it's, it's, I met, obviously, I'm Ran, and that's how I got here, but as far as India, what stands out for that in front of all of you listening to me is India, but I am in a trusted place because of him and also just my belief. So with that being said, um, thoughts equal change. Well, what does that mean? That means our thoughts that we can allow to say, I do believe that this is possible. And here's what's funny, is what stands out on change is age. So what I'm getting at is the age we all can choose now is young. And therefore our, our, our thoughts and our truth, more importantly, sorry, I might have done that wrong, but truth equals change. 
And truth is, making sure you, you make change and knowing that you can switch back to a young age, that's the truth. 100% the truth. It's 100% the truth. All of us can see change and understand it as being what stands out on that is age. Got it. So the change we can make is to go back to being young across this entire world and shift it. Yeah. Because if we were young and we'd say, should we like have war or fight? No. Should we make sure that the food we eat is healthy and that we all, you know, get, get along and music's awesome and um, we don't worry and money isn't on our minds every day? Yep. Correct. So this isn't hard, and I've been inspired by our son and our daughter and how their names, you know, K-N-O-X-L-E-Y is a key. And when he saw Wingate, where I was, he had, he might not remember, maybe not want to say it or share it with certain folks, but just because he doesn't know how to react to things in life, and well, that's welcome to life. So yeah, this isn't going to be a overnight system, but it can be something like, wow, this would be more simple than we thought to change this world. And what are the odds of win gate? Yeah, and how he saw that and goes, eh, maybe it's a gate the world could use for a win. This is real. And his sister is a great lesson of how to change little things in our life. Because like I said, I always, I can't help but like with the police officer. But what stood out on police is P-O-L-I-C-E, a pole. I see it all equally, and I know what they've gone... I can't imagine, sorry, what they've gone through, and that we need to, as young children would do, is say, I'm sorry you went through that, and I know you wouldn't want people to be hurt, etc. And So, with that being said, the little changes are what matter in our life, and that's all we have to do right now, is make little changes and learn from something new. And with little changes is I W A L A sorry I W A L A N I and the little change is flipping the N I at the end of her name and what spells it is what what gets created is I win and I owe them this because they're my children but I'm also in a very comfortable way accepting all this and understanding of how I went through everything I did and 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 what I'm supposed to share and I seeing everyone equally means that that the the Lecrae Christian rapper I met in 2007 and um, I had a feeling even back then we could end up together or doing something and and and, and then after my brain surgery in December 2019 is Months later, I looked him up, and I never knew this whole time. He was born seven days after me. And if we were young, we'd go, that's cool. Yeah. And the list goes on and on and on and on. But I'm here to say this this all came to me tonight. And I just can't stop it. And somehow I still, yes, I sleep. There's all the things I can share that I cut out in life. There's also sh the, sh the love I share for Sarah and for the children and both our families and everything. But what I'm getting at is we all could spend years and years and years looking at the world we created and then looking for ways to keep it going but change the world. No, the answer's no. we got to feel young and just go, so you're saying we can restart the world together as if we're young? Yep, schoolhouse rocks. That's where we'll meet. And all this stuff is real and came to me, and this is just how it is. So <laughs> now you know and... um on that note, I, I, I thank everyone in this world because you being here on earth inspired me to share the, the, the truth that equals change. And the truth is that equals change, and you can see that in different ways. That means they're the exact same thing. Well, and it's, I could go through so many things. Actually, now, yeah, I could. My brain just did it quickly. But my point is, it's all here, and the Inev would happen. Um, the Inev owners is there of the 38 sites I want to share with the world, so you all can 
uh, split the money that comes through it. We're not going to do it by selling to certain things and selling not all that will work because I believe in all in this world. So this is a different way of sharing this, but it's who I am and all of you matter and all your stories matter and everything you can imagine in the beautiful world is 100% possible if we all choose to come together. If we choose to come together and not vote against each other. This is real. So I believe in this and I fear nothing and I, I won't get nervous. And I was inspired by many. And one of the things that triggered all this and the belief in what I was doing was out front and how the number four came at me and the time it was into the song and the time in the night and the time that was left in the song the four and some others and it's interesting if you look up numbers spiritually what they mean but out of thousands of song when i hit shuffle talking about amazing addictions my wife sarah with uh, uh abby who start who begins the alphabet a um then I did Shuffle and Love came on. L is full of the... Well, imagine I know she would be with me and I'm about it telling everyone in this world that's how I feel about every single one of you. It's just, it would cause me to sing that song to all of you. So can, can, can we do that? Yeah, Michael Jackson's right here with us. Prince is right here with us. Steve Jobs right here. The list goes on and on. Martin Luther King, for sure. John F. Kennedy. This list goes on and on. I'm telling you. We are sitting, standing, however you want to hear that, in a perfect world right now. I believe that. So that's from me to you. And this is who I am. And create whatever nickname you want for me. I'm Jeremy Frederick Gilchrist. But if you... I can't even remember if in the beginning I did this, but my stands out on Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, I did, I think, but whatever. Frederick stands out is F-R-E-E, -E, and Gilchrist is G-I-L, and then Christ, so my free Christ. But if I fall through with, and this is the way it works out, then adding Humphreys, which is an amazing name, H-U-M-P-H-R-E-Y-S, then it's a my free me Christ, and that's a mentality you all could develop. My free me Christ. Yeah. Whether you believe Jesus' story or not, it's an amazing story. And now you are living to where we all can choose to shift this world forever. So you now know I'm telling the truth always. So on that note, I'm going to end this call so you know. One love to every single person in this world.